Flying business class internationally is a once-in-a-lifetime experience for many of us, but not all business class seats are created equally. Hi, we're the Raving Dallies. We recently returned from a trip to Dubai where we were lucky enough to fly business class on three different aircraft. A Qantas A330, an Emirates B777 and an Emirates A380. Join us to see which one offered the best in luxury air travel. And spoiler alert, the A380 has something special that really knocked my socks off. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today's the day we're setting off on an adventure and we're heading outside of Australia. Yes, it's cold and wet, Sydney, and we're going to be heading off to Dubai. We've had lots of frequent flyer points that we've been saving. We thought it was a good time to use some of those points so that we could sleep on the plane and get our feet up and just it was part of the whole experience of our trip. Not the best weather to be flying out of Sydney. Hopefully once we're above the clouds it'll be smooth flying. Guess what? What? We got our upgrade approved. Hurrah! Yay! <laughs> Business class from Sydney to Jakarta, here we come. Woohoo! Thanks, Qantas! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> told you not to pack so much. <laughs> Excited? Beer o'clock somewhere in the world. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. One of the perks of getting a business class upgrade is that we get to use the business class Qantas lounge so we can have some food and drink and relax before our flight to Jakarta. The Jakarta flight leaves about three o'clock and we get in about seven o'clock in the evening Jakarta time after about eight hour flight. Then we have a six hour layover and then our, another eight hour flight to Dubai. Flight 41 to Jakarta is now ready for premium boarding. I really liked this plane. The A330. The A330. It was great. You came, you entered the plane and you turned left into the business class section. And it was a layout of one seat by the window, two in the middle, and another one by the window, which was great. I thought that was a really good layout. So everyone was able to have an aisle seat. We're in our seats for our business class flight. Cheers. Put our champagne. We're off. Yeah, there was so much room, which was great. There was just heaps of room to spread out. If you were, I'm not very tall, but if you were tall, there was plenty of room for you. Anyone with long legs. Uh, Lydia was able to sit cross-legged in her seat. That shows you how much room there was on the seat. Yeah. And there was one overhead locker per person. So you had lots of space above you as well as around you. There was plenty of little compartments and room to spread all your stuff around, which I like to do. I have bits and bobs and I like to just make myself comfortable and feather my nest and there was plenty of room to do that, which was great. And the meals were all served with white linen and proper napkins and proper cutlery and all on crockery. So it's a whole different experience from flying economy to flying business class. It, it was and the yeah, food was, was quite nice. nice. Yeah, no, it was. I found the food quite enjoyable. I am gluten free. I was pleasantly surprised that they catered for my needs. I can hardly see you. I have to. It's a huge effort to peek around this barrier to see you and even talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> you can see it over the top. Here you go. Hello. <laughs> the beds lay out completely horizontal, so you could lie flat, which was great. Uh, they laid out the bed for us and they gave us some pajamas. You can certainly sleep a lot easier when you lie down completely flat. We've landed in Jakarta. 
which is transferring. We've got a layover of about six hours. We've been met by a lovely lady who is helping us with our transfer. We have to wait a couple of hours before our transfer window opens. It's seven o'clock local time in the evening and our flight isn't until 1am. If it's a 1am flight, that means it's going to be 5am back home. Hmm, we're going to be tired. <laughs> We've waited the two hours, so it should be almost time to check in now. We're on the move again. Wow, look at this. This is huge, this airport. Jakarta, Indonesia. You have a huge airport and it's very modern. We spent the next couple of hours in the business class premium lounge, rehydrating, charging our devices and just trying to stay awake. At last it was time to board our Emirates B777 from Jakarta to Dubai. First class. That is fancy, fancy. Hello, how are you? My name is Andrea. Okay. Nice. Okay, Andrea. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna be taking you. care of you too oh, today. Thank you very nice much. to meet you too. Excellent. Do you need any assistance with anything? Nothing wrong with having champagne at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I clean my teeth. <laughs> We're sharing lockers between us this time rather than having one each. It's so. very open, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's a lot more I think open. it's a wider plane because yeah. they are fitting um, two on either side and then three in the centre. But I've still got lots, like I've still got a lot of foot space. I hope the camera's picking this up, but there's lots of little stars there. I love their uniforms, the Emirates ladies. Yeah, it's pretty. So, <laughs> like the Moe. Yeah, oh, the Moe. Not really at 5 o'clock in the morning, but no. you know, when you roam. Well, it's it's 1 o'clock in the morning here. Okay. So it's still party time, time on a, what is it, a Friday night My or something? Body doesn't know what's going on. There's a uniform. This plane, the seats were narrower, much narrower. Much than, narrower. Yeah, the, than yeah. the Qantas plane. And there not as much room, there storage wasn't much space. There was room to put your bits and bobs around. It was very narrow. It didn't recline all the way. Um, for, we, for your bedding, that's no, right. For your bedding, it didn't you were sort of You were sort of propped up a little bit, so it wasn't mm -hmm. completely horizontal. We weren't offered pyjamas on this flight. And we just wanted to get on there and sleep as soon as we were airborne. We're both really tired. We didn't choose to have a meal on, on that first meal when you're, as soon as you're airborne, they usually give you a meal. We decided to opt out of that one and just go straight to sleep. But we had breakfast. We did have breakfast. And I must say my gluten-free breakfast was not a great meal. That one was pretty disappointing. I had an omelette and that was, that was quite nice. It, it was more about being able to sleep on that flight for us. It wasn't as opulent as the Qantas one. And if we were choosing out of those two, would definitely go with the Qantas one. Yes, I would. If that had been my only business class experience, I would have been underwhelmed. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Hello, good morning. How did you sleep? Oh, about four hours. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Touchdown. Welcome to Dubai. Ordered at six in the morning local time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. It's been 28 hours since we left home yesterday morning, um, so this is a very well deserved coffee.
we had an amazing time in Dubai. As you'll see if you watch future videos in this series. But all too soon, we were back in Dubai Airport for our business class flight back home to Sydney on an Emirates A380. So that was interesting. When we left the hotel, we got a private car. You could choose a private car or a taxi. They're similar price. You pay a little bit more for the hotel car. He really knew where to go to. We've got a business class flight today that we got on points, which we're very excited about. But it is a separate entrance to economy or to where the taxis drop off or to where the buses drop off. And so I think we were fortunate today that our driver knew exactly where he was going. Yeah, so that's, I thought, interesting tip. If you were driving yourself, you'd really have to know where you're going. So that was really simple and quick coming through customs. Yeah. We were the only ones, we were the only ones going through the passport check. We were the only ones going through the, the baggage a scanner. Mm. Um, so it's really nice having a separate entrance for business class passengers. It is. It's very seamless. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. I feel, I feel very special. Yeah. It's like we're catching a train to our gates. I was really looking forward to this flight because being an A380 for one and a business class, we've, we heard it's a very good service. So we're super excited to be able to experience that. So we got there as early as we could. So this isn't just a business class lounge, it's like a business class floor. And so here's, they've got it. fine dining, they've got shoe shining, they've got nobody in it. <laughs> But you can board straight from the lounge. You don't have to go back out with everyone else. So we're just walking around checking it out. We're going to check out the fine dining option. Oh, I found a spot. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got our flights up there. It's six, six o'clock on the dot. So we've got exactly th three and a half hours until our flight takes off at 9.30. So we can have some food and some nice wine. I've heard the wine that Emirates serve is top notch. Not only do they have nice wine, but they've got an ice cream station. It's like a little ice cream cart. So we'll have to have some of that. This is still the business lounge. And we're just waiting for a lift to take us down to the plane. We were able to just catch a lift straight down from the lounge, straight to the upper deck of the A380 and board the plane. So we didn't see any of the other passengers at all. We it was straight incredible. Into, straight to our seat. It was incredible. It felt like royalty on that flight. <laughs> it was just amazing. Thank you very much. Cheers. You're not having champagne? No, I'm having an energy boost, a vitality boost. Vitality boost. All right, maybe later. So this is business class on an A380 for Emirates. Much, much more room than the, the B777 that we came over on. Look at all this extra space. We went back to the same seat configuration as the A330. So one seat at either window and two in the center. So everybody had an aisle, plenty of space in the seat, lots of compartments to store your bits and pieces. Well, you, oh. Lots of leg space, here we go, big TV, slippers and an eye mask, that's good. And here's our earphones, they look like pretty heavy duty earphones, I don't think I'll need to use my ones. Got an overhead compartment each, for each chair, which is good. What do you think of this decor lid? The, um, it's the same on the previous plane. We came over on this uh, timber. Yeah, it's a bit a little retro, but quite nice. I'm liking this camera. It's an interesting view it's from the tail looking forwards.
Dinner was very nice. I started with the pumpkin soup while Lydia had a chicken dish. For mains, Lydia had a very nice fillet of fish and I had a beautiful Arabic rice dish called machbous. You can actually walk to the back of the business class section and there's this little round bar with a, a waitress or a waiter there to serve you beer and wine and cocktails. Espresso martinis yeah. if you want one. And you can sit around the seats around that you can go and you can socialise if you're there with some friends or family. Or you can just chat to the crew. Mm. They're very friendly. This is Karina. Hey. <laughs> yes, I'm from Indonesia. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. The service was actually really good on all three of the mm. business class flights that we went on. I can't fault that at all. No. All the stewardesses and stewards Lovely. were very good and very attentive. Mm. So very Thank happy you. with that. We received pyjamas this time. Mm. Lovely bamboo soft um, pyjamas. We got a lovely Bulgari um, toiletries bag as well with perfumes and facial products and hand creams. Okay, now have a little bit of a sleep now. It's a nice beds that fold out completely horizontal and so I can have a good night's sleep. I'm just looking up, it's lovely, they've got some twinkling stars on the ceiling to make you feel like it's night time. Even if it's light outside, I don't even know what time it is outside, uh, but it feels like night time to me. Good night. Bit of a wet afternoon here in Sydney. Bit of a difference to Dubai when we left. <laughs> Back in Sydney. Looking reasonably refreshed. Yeah, had a few hours sleep. It was a nice flight. It's always nice when you can lie out horizontally and have a sleep. So. I think we've been spoilt now. <laughs> we'll, if we go economy again, we'll be struggling for a little bit. <laughs> but now I think it's a coffee and then drive home. And that would be the end of our Dubai adventure. The difference between flying economy for me and business class is economy is just to get to your destination, whereas business class, it's actually part of your holiday. That's how I felt. I actually enjoyed the flight and the experience and that was it felt like my holiday started the minute I walked on the planes. So which aircraft do you think had the best business class seats? The A380 hand, hands down definitely that's like wow what an experience and especially from Dubai. I think I would choose the Qantas A330. Okay. The A330 really surprised me it, it just felt more comfortable it to did me. Feel, it did feel the flight was more comfortable the I just felt the, even the bed. Yeah, that was more comfortable. Was more comfortable. The Qantas and A380 were my favourite. They both had different things about them that I liked better than the other ones. But as an overall package, I'd still have to choose the the Emirates A380. The bar, the bamboo pajamas, oh, the French champagne, the French wine. <laughs> All the, right, maybe you're swaying my the Bulgari. <laughs> um, toiletries bag, the direct access from the um, business class lounge straight onto the plane. Okay, all right. Maybe so, you're changing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's an overall experience. Yeah, the, the A380. A380. All right, let's do yeah. that. Let's say A380 wins. Very close second though, mm. A330. Distant third, B777. Thank you very much for joining us on our three business class flights today. And we hope to see you roving again with us soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.